Hey, what's up? It's Tierra Marie, and I just finished my interview with Hollywood Unlocked, Uncensored. The interview went great. I love Jason. I'm so proud of him. Nice to formally meet Melissa. She's amazing. And I have fun. We talked about all kinds of shit. You know, oh, of course we talked about love and hip hop. Of course we talked about music and how I'm doing. So it was a great interview. What up, everybody? This is Jay Celine. This is Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored. And I'm Melissa Ford, a.k.a. The Curve Queen. Your boy Giovanni. Hold up. Oh, and we got Tierra Marie in here today. We are waiting for this interview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting to get here. You're booked and busy. (laughs) You know, honey. (laughs) Okay, so she walked in and you guys saw her, but I had already seen her at my Mm -hmm. office and I said this on one of the other shows. She's looking fucking good. Wow. Oh, yeah. The glow up Thank you. You looking like... When you, when you first mm-hmm. came out. Yeah. Like, Throwback TT. Yeah, you about to, you no, about, you this look, is your you way look a lot more in. youthful too. Yes. I mean, you know what? Weight will put a lot of years on you. Well, yeah, Gio, Gio looks 45 yeah, and he's been. only 30. <laughs> One, something like that. I gained weight. It's okay. I still get females though. It's all yeah, right. you got them pretty eyes. So you Thank you could you. You twerk. I could twerk? <laughs> yeah, you can he twerk. He probably what? does twerk. <laughs> he got he gets a, a salad toss so he, he twerks he too. He got a new apartment. We ain't even found out how the receipts came about. But anyway, welcome to the show. We've been waiting. Um yeah, I've known you before uh, the show Love and Hip Hop, and but we never really hung out, hung out, and then we got to know each other a little bit more through the show. Um, I had a f- rough first season with a former roommate of yours, uh, friend. Are you guys friends? You and Hazel Ear? No, we're nothing. Mm. <laughs> okay, so because this gonna be fun because the one thing <laughs> because the one thing about you, you are a you were a ride or die. Like I remember calling you terrified my first experience with Love and Hip Hop before the reunion. And saying, like, because you, you try to sort out who's on what plane. Mm-hmm. We were on the same plane together. You mm-hmm. bought me some alcohol, so I was a little better. Yeah. But I remember <laughs> saying, I hope Tierra has my back at the reunion because mm-hmm. this shit's good. Because I had threw the drink and mm-hmm. I knew I was mm-hmm. going to get slaughtered. But you mm-hmm. know that it's not that intense once you get there. No, it's, it's like, not. It's, re- it's really you, not that intense. Mm-hmm. Right. No, but you calm my nerves. But one thing I knew is you guys weren't friends going into the reunion, but you left friends. See, I always try to give Hazel a chance, but never, never again. Okay. Like, mm-hmm. she is... The bottom of my shoe. Mm. But what? Like, damn. I don't like that woman whatsoever. What? What was the determining <laughs> factor now? Well, okay. See, this is the thing. <laughs> Hazel is slick because she tried to call me before the reunion, knowing that we were beefed out. She called my phone, and so I picked up the phone. Like, what the fuck are you calling my phone for? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she's trying to get me on her side because she knew that they wouldn't let her boyfriend into the reunion. Mm-hmm. So Hazel is the type that likes to rally people, you know, oh, on, you don't on her say. side. You don't say. I do say, dear. Mm, I think I know and, something yeah. about that. <laughs> yes. And so she tried to rally me on her side and call me, but I wasn't going for it, mm-hmm. you know? And so she got herself put out the reunion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When she tried to sneak Moniece or something happened. What, yeah, what it like? yeah, that, she, she was just doing them the most. Okay. So, so, but, but, what was the determining factor for you to say I just can't be this person? Because she anymore. still keeps talking about me after you called me and you tried to make amends. You still have my name in your mouth mm-hmm. in a negative way. Mm-hmm. So, well, it's because you're beautiful. She can't take that. No, she can't. Like, no, that's just the. That's honest. why y'all ain't friends. That's <laughs> no, that's the honest truth. That's that was her method of things. She used to. She would have beautiful girlfriends around her. Me, Megan, mm-hmm. Eva, you. Mm-hmm. You always keep the pretty girls around you because the shine is going to be mm-hmm. on you. You're going to get a lot yep. of the attention. But you can't. But then you can't stand that the attention that is that you desire is going to somebody else. Somebody else. Yep. You know. So, so it's just like that jealousy. You're well, resentful. Yeah. Yeah. So, but so this season, I remember the first scene with you two was a fight. It was, but yeah. it was like. So this is the first time that she got physical with me. Like okay. she threw because something at threw me. So I was like, "It's no going back from there, girl." Right. Like we're done. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and you from Detroit, something. so girl, you. I wanted hands. to. Girl, I wanted to slap I fire out of Detroit. I wanted to fight fire out of her. Like I. Ew. Well, let you me ask you. Know, I went to rehab and everything, so I, I'm trying to be. Do you trying to be this. zen? Yes, but be zen. it's People hard because I, I always say, drink or no drink, TT is going to be TT. <laughs> yeah. You know. Go ahead. I was going to say, like, one thing I love about you though is you're never just erratic for no reason. I mean, mm-hmm. like, I know right. you're friends with Monies. Don't start now, won't be now. You're friends with Monies. We're cool. She 
you know, Bino, Bino, Bino. That's her safe word when she's gonna fucking go cuckoo at the reunion. Oh, she, yeah, you, she was you hear, that you hear year. Bino. There's ambulance people with that. fucking straps coming from everywhere yeah. to get her and her mom <laughs> off the stage. But the thing about you is, you, you know, people know you come for you, you're gonna come for them. But you're not so unpredictably psychotic. Yeah, I don't start anything with anybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, because that show, there's Looney Tunes. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Unpredictably yeah. psychotic. Yeah. I wanted to ask you um, because you know. Uh, Hazel's comments about the LGBT community. Everybody was up in arms, but a lot of people were really angry, especially women were really angry about the fact that she insulted black women. Yes. And every, it seems like that part has been, you know, kind of swept, brushed, under, swept the rug. under the rug. Yeah. So what were you, what, when you saw like the train wreck that was her Instagram profile that day. And I think you were included in that post where- No, I wasn't on the it post. It wasn't you, okay. No, it was like Monice. Monice and, and all the okay. more there. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, but, what, but what did you think when you saw that? I thought she was higher than Tony Montana. Mm. And I believe that still <laughs> now, you know? Mm -hmm. I thought that she was on a cocaine binge. Mm. So you thought that was maybe like a no, no and shade. It, and it Whitney happened Houston like moment. early in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. So I felt like they were like up all night getting high or something. <laughs> and then she did that. Mm. And so what was your reaction when you saw it? Did you just... I mean, my reaction, I was appalled. I was like, oh my God, I, I can't believe she would do that. You mm. know, like she's a PR, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> well, you know that that's just like career suicide. You'll never be able to make a coin in this town again. So I don't even, you know, I was saying on the other show that I was unplugged because I was in New York working mm -hmm. on something with Rock Nation and I just saw all of my Instagram and Twitter and everything mm -hmm. going crazy. I'm like, I, I ain't did nothing. So when I saw it, you know, people then now I'm their hero. Because the season when I was there, I threw the drink, but they mm -hmm. didn't realize I was going through that experience in person. Before. Right. And mm -hmm. like now her true colors are revealed. Right. So I was happy about that part, but you know, I, I, it has to be something deeper going on. And you know, I just wish her the best. Yeah, I called her instead of <laughs> no, reacting. No, I don't. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I sorry. called her and I said, listen, I, I know people want me to destroy you on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm calling, are you cool? Is everything. So you called her? I called her. And what did she? I just said she well she thought she was defensive at first they were both on speakerphone I think they thought I was going to call them and fight with them I said listen I'm in a place of happiness like I'm successful yes you are you glowing baby I mean I'm working <laughs> like I am good but I said get off of Instagram just get off of social media. Just Trump. get off. Get her off. And, and get, get off, off the, the crack. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well that part too. So, do, so let me she ask should, She should have been in the bed next to me in rehab. <laughs> so what did you people do, a lot of people don't know what did you go to rehab for? Drinking. Yeah, right, you a that was my drinker, vice. Like every day, drinking? no, not every day. Just when I went hard, I went hard. Mm -hmm. I'm you know, you can way. relate. Did it start, yeah. yeah, did it start feeling like it was affecting your physical health? Um, no, it didn't. Thank God, it didn't get. She to was that a functional point. alcoholic. Exactly. Same with me. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I remember there was a day <laughs> yeah, that me I went. Too. I went to a part. No, mm -hmm. no, no. You're not like us <laughs> oh. because yeah. because because deep in us, there's there's rage too. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm a really mm -hmm. happy drunk. No, no, like, no, no oh, me too. Good for no. you. Happy, sorry. <laughs> no, listen, happy as so fuck. <laughs> here's my so here's my Tierra Marie story. Now, oh my God, you, Jason, what is this? Now mind you, I've loved Tierra, fan of Tierra. Didn't really know her, know her, but knew her from around. You know, we had. Oh my been around. God, what did I do? But I remember when I was at a party at, uh, I forgot the name of the place, but anyway. Somewhere. It was, yeah, the place mm -hmm. over on Vine. Mm -hmm. And we were upstairs. It was you, Zell, Moniz. Mm -hmm. I happened to be there. Nikki, I think, was there. And you thought I, you had waved to me or something. You thought I had shaded you. And yeah. you went all the way off. Like, went all, did you, you, you got a problem with me? I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you talking yeah, about. Was you drunk? Was you drunk? Yeah, probably. No, yeah. we, were, we were sipping. Yeah, we were sipping. But, but, I'm, but I'm very similar. So when did you acknowledge that you were going to take it under control? Was it the show and the intervention? They kind of, yeah, they forced the rehab thing. Um, but it was it was a, a good thing, you mm -hmm. know? I'm, I don't regret it. Um, but I needed to go. I needed to disconnect for a minute because I was just, so, so is, Trevo, is Trevo on the cast now? Because she didn't no, fell out. But she had to. She had to she, come through. She she gets a couple moments. Because I was ne not here for it, so she yeah. had to come through for it. Are you yeah. sober now? Yes. How long has it been? Well, I got out in like when was that? Like August or September? Yeah. So it's only been a couple of months. That's was it right. a was it a ninety day program that you went into? I before? went for ninety days. Yeah, wow. I was only gonna stay for thirty days, mm -hmm. but it was so serene mm -hmm. that I decided mm -hmm. to stay for. 
Wow. You stay for 90 full days? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So are you exercising, eating healthy? Yeah. Well, look no. at her. I mean, I shit. I, I every, every, I'm, I Googled you and every blog is talking about the, the post up. rehab glow up. Wow. Yeah. Like everybody is so, it, it doesn't it feel good that everybody it's, seems to be on your team and rooting so for you? Good, yes. You know? Now you can get back into that Tierra Marie Mar yes. state of being the artist that we all know you are. Yeah. Because a lot of people, when it comes to um, addiction, you know, mm-hmm. whether it's drugs or alcohol, porn. the hardest part is acknowledging that you have a pro- problem. Porn. No, right. <laughs> is the, uh, acknowledging that you have a problem that right. that needs, you know, attention, attention mm-hmm. that you can't give yourself. You can't white knuckle it through yeah. this process. You need help. And yes. I have to commend you for, for doing that. And yeah. in such a public way girl I, that's what i was scared about did you, you know did you find the process you know kind of humiliating a little bit okay. at first but yeah. there's always that silver lining mm-hmm. and i'm back and i i, I feel what way better you, you back know? and you better so, no bison. so when you had um plastic surgery on the show hazel had said that on on this show she said she thought you did that because you were drunk at the time because a sober <laughs> tear would have never had surgery on tv that's is that hilarious. true no that's not true you can't be drunk on the operating table right. no she thought because you were kind of in the cloud of alcoholism that your judgment of doing surgery on tv well she was... should do some surgery on tv <laughs> Wait, what Maybe it'll done? come out better. She should that. go on. What's that show with the guy that fixed the box? Box. Yeah. Yeah, she should go Dr. on there. What should she fix? Everything. <laughs> okay, so so for people out there that are listening to the show, because we, we, we just had Nick Cannon in here, and we try to be inspirational, too. <laughs> yeah, for, that's cute. For people who are struggling, even me, I think I struggle with alcohol sometimes, mm, too. I do. What, what, what is the experience like when you go into rehab so you walk in this facility so you walk in it's like a bunch of strangers and at at first i'm not gonna lie when i first walked in i'm like oh my god like i'm here with a bunch of like alcoholics (laughs) yeah alcoholics but was that the denial part yeah it was Mm -hmm. because i met some of the best people in rehab and at first I had a room to myself. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, you know what? I want a roommate. Like I really want to experience this. Mm-hmm. You know, like I didn't go to college, so I mm-hmm. never had that. So I was like, I want to really experience this whole thing and learn from somebody. Mm-hmm. So I decided to get a roommate for a minute for like 30 days. Mm-hmm. And um it was the best thing. I mean, it was like a five star rehab though. Mm-hmm. You know, we had personal chef, you know, wow. like oh, okay. yeah. You had a budget. So we was doing it. Yeah. Budget. <laughs> so wait, so did you have a sponsor? No, no pun intended. Well, VH1. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, hey. Yeah, I might have I to do explore. Listen, I got <laughs> therapy paid for by, you know, Bravo. Well, I might have to explore my... You did? The ne- yeah, because after first season of filming my reality show... And I watched it, too. I need... Oh, did you? Yep. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I, I needed therapy. I needed therapy to cope with the shit that I'd just kind mm-hmm. of gone through. It just... And, and, deal, and being in that constant state of conflict was making me pull my fucking hair out. So that, you was, know? That, so that was my question. So you're a veteran of love and hip hop. You've been there from the beginning. I came in, I set out this season because I could not deal with the anxiety. How do you mm-hmm. deal with the anxiety? Do you just show up and just well, shoot? Well, see, at first I was dealing with it with alcohol. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so it was like you were medicated. You are just there. Yeah, so I was medicated. just there. But now, um, I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But well, it is, it's, an, it's so, an anxiety inducing yeah. situation you, yeah. yeah i mean have you made a vow not to drink i mean after we have i haven't i'm just taking it one day at a time yeah, okay. like yeah because i don't want to say like anything the pressure like, you, you know, know what like, Here's i don't want it people are going to be watching you they're it's gonna, like they're, a hawk they're gonna Super be like watching, so what's yeah. in that red bull what's can in that yeah everyone's gonna be That's minding the hell out of Girl, your business when i go to the club and i don't even drink water out of a cup i'm like no give me a bottle yeah please yeah like i don't even want anybody to see a cup in my hand so for everybody who sees tara marie out just give her a fucking break congratulate her on the on the steps she's made forward but don't be up this girl's ass about what's in her cup or her bottle Please. or her fucking Please, and don't, can. like, my friends, I always try to tell them because they're like, I think they feel nervous about, like, drinking, drinking around, around me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, it's okay. Like, have fun. I'm still going to have fun. Mm-hmm. So, did, so did you, okay, so when you came back, did you reevaluate the people that you actually consider friends? Yeah, absolutely. So what was that process like? Well, that process happened in rehab. Mm-hmm. You know, I saw who was there. I mm. saw, you know, who called, who visited. So me. I saw in the reunion, you said that there were people that did not call. So Moniz didn't call. Um, She had my dog for a minute. No, she ne- never called me. I called her. Mm-hmm. Mm. And she said that I didn't get it. Of course, they edited it out when um I was saying to Treva, Did, didn't she have my extension number? Mm-hmm. 
And Treva was like, yes, I saw baby, that. she did. You know, I saw, no, I saw you. that. I saw you. I saw, oh, no, that didn't get edited out. We saw that. Oh, okay. Because I was like, what is she talking about extension? Now Nick, you just put it together. Yeah, no, yes, no, yeah. I, I knew what she was saying because Nikki called you, you said every day, right? No, she didn't call me every day, but she called. She checked you know, on yes. you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so did you come back and now do you have a different perception of who your friends are on the show? Well, you know what? To be honest, <laughs> um, there are no friends on the show, mm -hmm. you know, and if you meet one, you're you're very blessed, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like I feel like Nikki is my friend. Yeah, I felt I felt that Monice was. But I just talked to Nia the other day and she was telling me all this stuff that Monice had been saying about me. And I'm like, while you were in rehab or just since? Just period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, I was what, like, what was OK, saying? so. <clears throat> Honey, just some things like she didn't want me around her son and all this stuff. And I'm mm. just like, really, mom? Mm. Like, damn, like you never told me that. Mm. So do you feel like the intervention wasn't didn't necessarily come from like a good place and it was more just oh, yeah, because about how they made oh. how yes. they look? The reason that I feel like that mm. is because if it was if it wasn't on the show, I don't think that they would have done it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, can I tell you when I saw the intervention? I was so fucking angry because one, it's great that people want to intervene, mm -hmm. but I don't know you and AD to be that close for that person no. to be in the front mm -hmm. of that. Like, right. you know, I see an intervention, I come in, my family's there, mm -hmm. the people that love me. So you want me to receive this? Mm -hmm. I felt like you were ambushed. I was. And the way they had that woman just all up in your oh, face. They told me I was going to a birthday party. They gave me drinks in the parking lot. Ain't that some See? shit? Yeah. Wow. On the next episode of Niggas. <laughs> the they lured episode. you in yep. for what they trying to intervene. Yep. That's crazy. But wow. I love how you turned that situation around and made it work for you. It was good. And I think one thing at the, the Love and Hip Hop Hollywood people uh, cast, you know, people, they got these facades of their lifestyles and this that. And I really applaud VH1 and Mona for showing a real story. And this is why yeah. I said to them, before, when I was trying to explain the stories that I wanted to tell, I don't want to be the monkey fighting on the floor. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got too much other real shit going on and yeah. real problems we could really deal with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was good to see that. Mm -hmm. Now, see, one of the seasons I was there, I can't remember if it was two or three, your mother was really ill, right? Yes. What, why did you choose not to show that? Well, um, I don't think my my mother, she, she doesn't want to like show herself. She can't talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. She had a stroke and she can't talk. Mm -hmm. So... You know? But you were filming and going through all that. Oh, yeah. that's And that's when I really hit the bottle really hard because I was going through so much. And then she was pregnant. And like, I heard she was, was pregnant and in a coma. Yeah. Well, no, pregnant and just couldn't talk. Jeez. She had the stroke. And then we found out she was pregnant. Yeah. And but my mom is young. You know, she okay. had me when she was 16. Oh, wow. So, you know, she's not. And you were filming going through all that. Oh, yeah. And so when you were drinking and when you were in that state and self-medicating, do you feel like people, because now, of course, you look good, you're mm -hmm. back, you're you're sober, and now all the haters that were shaming you or being mean to you are now praising you. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you you say it all the time. They love you one week, hate you the next. Yeah, yeah. So I'm used to that. And so you take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm. Shit, they'll hate me next week. So listen, mm -hmm. you, if I say the wrong thing, you know, you, you got to be careful. Hey, here. fuck it. So we had started the show earlier and you were a little late and I said maybe you were caught up in an Uber. Um, how did you <laughs> lift? <laughs> I don't got no Uber. <laughs> so are you banned from life for lifetime from Uber? I don't know if it's a lifetime. Because I think if you switch a phone, because I was banned. I was no, going to say, aren't I you tried so banned? That. Did you try it? Yes, I tried to switch emails. Like, they know your credit card or something. I don't know. Like, it, it didn't work for me. As soon as you, as soon as you, you can upload somebody else's photo. As soon as you get in that car, you getting reported. Yes, oh, honey. A lot of people, I really still don't know what happened with that incident. Then there was no, the car wasn't outfitted with a camera. So it really was just what the driver said happened. Versus with me. Yeah, versus you. Okay, so Which? what so. was your perspective? Because, Yeah. <laughs> Um, he said well, you wild the fuck out over well, a phone he charger. Wild, he wild out first. I believe you, though. I, I'm telling the truth, okay? I was on the <laughs> phone. This is when my mother could talk. Mm -hmm. I was on the phone with my mother. And we, we have a different kind of relationship. Like, we, you know, she's young, so we... Homegirl. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, yeah. you know, so I curse and, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like, it's... Whatever. Yeah. yeah, so I don't think that he got with my energy. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so he was offended, I think, by my phone conversation. Mm -hmm. And so he pulled over and it was like, you got to get out. And I was like, I'm not getting out. <laughs> and so the thing, the reason the phone charger came up is because I snatched it out after he like, OK, so he we got into a little verbal thing. And mm -hmm. then he um, he he told me, like, you get out or whatever. And so I'm like, OK, I'm not getting out on freaking sunset. Like we were like 
right in like Homely Hill sunset. Mm-hmm. So it was like nowhere to go. Like mm-hmm. I'm like, you could drop me back off at Crest Stations mm-hmm. or you could take me the hell home. Mm-hmm. So he decides, no, you're going to get out right now. All right, I'm about to get out and I'm about to call the police. So I got mad and then he starts like, he had this water bottle in his hand and he starts like <laughs> flinging it around. So water is getting on me. So I picked up the water bottle in the back. Yes, I did. The, the trial is over. <laughs> so I picked up the water bottle in the back and I start doing the same thing. And so, <laughs> and so he, um, he decides that he wants to get out, call the police. So I'm like, you know what? This is not that serious here. Get your ass out of his car. Just call, call another one. Mm-hmm. So I got out and mm-hmm. I tapped him on his shoulder. And he's on the phone with me. Oh my gosh, she just hit me. She just hit me. She just hit me. Oh I'm like, God. are you kidding me? Was he Persian me? or Armenian or something? He was, I don't know. He was non-black. But yeah. He had an accent for sure. Right. He had an accent. Yeah, that mm-hmm. And a hearing right. aid. And um, so <laughs> <laughs> he did. So I was like, well, maybe he misheard me or something, yeah. you know? <laughs> so maybe the wire like, got crossed. Yeah, she hit me. She hit me. And so I'm like, I I felt like I was a dummy at the time because I felt like I didn't do anything wrong. So I'm going to stand here until the police get here. Yeah, right. Honey, that was the wrong. I had never heard of a citizen's arrest. <laughs> Honey, they put me in handcuffs because they said he called the police. Oh. I said, what? Oh, my God. I would have been the fuck up out of here. Like, I would not have stood around for this. So it wasn't that they thought there was a crime. It was that he said, I'm making yes, a citizen's arrest. Yes. So they have to arrest you. Yes. Ain't that crazy? Crazy. Like, you could beat my ass and you call the police I'm and tell I'm you, going to jail. If I come back to Love and Hip Hop, so somebody hit me, I'm staying and making a citizen's arrest. arrest. <laughs> citizen's arrest. So, so speaking of Love and Hip Hop at the reunion, Zell and Ray, mm-hmm. I saw that you were very vocal about not um, supporting what Zell did. What, how, what did well, you think you about that what? experience? It wasn't as savage as, as it as looked it, on camera. Exactly. Because it looked like, whoa. No, 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 no. Yeah. On camera was the light part. It looked I'm worse. Saying, yeah. It was oh, worse. Oh, it was yeah. worse. Oh, yeah. Because oh, no, he, he, he fucked that man up. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. And it's not funny, but <laughs> he fucked him up. Hmm. And, um, you know, what they showed was not as savage as it really was mm-hmm. in real life. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not going to lie. You know how you watch stuff and you see like a kid getting picked on and, and you you cry, you shed a tear like, mm-hmm. oh, that's just so mean. Mm-hmm. Honey, that's how it was. Like Lyrica was crying. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. And, and was the crazy part because he was because he snuck him? Yeah, that was the crazy part. Mm-hmm. Not that they Damn, fought. What happened? I okay, still never so seen it. Wait, let her tell. Okay, let her tell. Okay. Let her not tell. that they fought. It was, yeah, I think that was the craziest part because he really went up like. He was going to okay. hug him. And he had said some nice things before he went up. Like, mm-hmm. you are a nice looking man. Da 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 da. So everybody was really thinking, like, okay, well, he's going to go and hug him. Mm-hmm. But I will say this, Ray, like, if. If your enemy is coming towards you, you don't stay seated. Listen here, <laughs> don't know. Hey, I would have stood up like, okay, we both hugging today. Mm. L- yeah, the, 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 the love and hip hop. The reunion is supposed to be about reconciliation, but it really yeah. you just it's so unpredictable. And there's 50 security guards, so you clearly know some shit could go left. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so Zell took a cheap shot. I, mean, I still haven't seen it. So yeah. Zell well, basically, what the, the whole uh, cast was saying. But it, the thing is that now in hindsight, when I look at it, is that. Um, you know, the men in black are always on deck. Right. And um, Talking that's about security. security. Yes. yes, security. And if he had of ran up, he would have got stopped. Yeah. So I f- feel like maybe he was just like, I'm going to, you know, do it like this because I want to really get this man. I have a real question for you that I know a bunch of people want to know the answer to. When that scene unfolded, um, wait, with- are you done with that? Because I still have more questions about that part. Okay, I'm sorry, because you talked about the men well, in remember black. Remember your question. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. remember your question. Sorry, my bad. Go okay, ahead. Jason. No, okay. so when, so do you think, based on how that all went down, that love and hip hop should bring Zell back? Um, I do, because at the end of the day, I felt like security had failed. Mm-hmm. You know, because they shouldn't have even let them try to hug. Yeah, you know. So I, I, I. I like looking back at it, I'm just like, you know, what what would Tierra do? Mm-hmm. I probably, I don't know. Yeah, I but you can't really predict if somebody's coming to hug you to say sorry. I mean, there but are some moments. But then you stand your ass up if yeah. your enemy is coming towards you. Yeah, though, yeah. You know, I'm not hugging my enemy. I'd be like, stay. No, the and fuck that's over what there. that's what Ray was saying at mm-hmm. first. But you still, if he's coming over, you're gonna stand up. Yeah, I'd be like, eh, eh, no, 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 don't even try it. Like, don't yeah, even try like, it. like, stand up. What's-her-face came on the show trying to make apologies. I was like, mm-mm, mm. no, and no, and no, it's never going to happen. I saw a clip of that, boo. Mm. 
I okay. saw a clip. I was like, yes, Melissa. <laughs> My yeah. face. So talking about the men in black, there was that infamous scene where Masika is at this rehearsal. Oh, where she drug her. Yeah. yeah. So where she's, you know, saying young man and no yeah. nostril Yeah, and that was funny. All the very, very clever names that she came up with. Everybody has the impression that the men in black security, they kind of look the other way for a split second, like... You know, because she got a hold of her, her and dra- hit by bone, the like throat, hit bone, area. hit the railing. Yeah. Like we, you felt, and that. you know, delusional ass Hazel. Like she was like, "Oh yeah, I fought. I did this. Oh, yeah, I had to drag a bitch." Like, girl, you, you got drug like a up out of your motherfucking body. I've had to fight for her <laughs> in the past. Yeah, no, but she claims. Listen, she has all these fight stories for, from yeah. you to Tiana. <laughs> like she has all these fight stories where w- when you act. The other person, they're like, she didn't even jump in. No, it was the fight. She started the fight, was getting her ass handed to her, and I had to finish it. Yeah, and she and it told was on me. New she Year's told Eve. me about you, boo. Yeah, she was like, you know, Mel got hands. Play. None of it's the truth. Yeah, Mel got hands. That's what Hazel said. Oh well, that part is true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so no, I, you know, the one thing that I find interesting is that they always say, you know, there's those pre meetings before the season starts to say there's no fighting, zero tolerance, blah blah yeah. blah. We were on That's the set. That's like an insurance thing for them. And then, yeah. and then mm-hmm. your first scene is with the person that you want to kill. Right. <laughs> there was a scene that you and I were in. They tried to cut me out, but, but the way my contract was written, I, I saw my legs, so they mm. still had to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> Where Shonda got in the fight with that girl. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a bad, remember? That was, yeah. And that so was, is that yeah. just security not positioned in the right way? And they really. I don't know. I get confused about that, too, because I, I'm like, if I sneeze the wrong way, like, They're security's on, on my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Like, if they try to, like, or if they, like, are, like, some people are just open for it. Like, she can fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let her fight. We need I mean, that scene. I don't know. They snatched I don't that know. girl's whole wig off, and she was trying to hold and the girl's I, and wig so on, and she was hitting because us. Because before the scene, I kept telling her, "I'm like, oh, your enemy is here. Like, girl, you want some Reinfor- pins on yeah, my wig? Like, you need to be like, ta- is your wig tacked down?" And she was handing me pins. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta reinforce uh, that wig. She handed you one too many pins because her shit came off. Yeah, it came, all came the up, but she was. I think yeah. I she think, got the yeah, nice fresh braids crazy. under that. Tear was a real good friend. She's like, "Oh, it's okay. It's not that bad." I'm like, "Girl, your whole wig came off." <laughs> okay, so do you hate Rihanna? Like, do you? In, no, do you I in, love Ree. Do you? Because I feel like every time they tell your story or tell her story, they they're always pitting you all against mm-hmm. each Y'all other. Got signed at the same time. Right? Yeah, we mm-hmm. did. Yeah, no, I love her. She's never done anything to me. So, do you feel like? Do, are you ever mad at the industry for pitting you all against each other, or continuously? No, because pitting? it's just. You know, par for the course, honey. Really? Yes. Of course. What God. would you say? What would you say happened? Because I remember when you both were signed, and the reality of the situation is that you were the golden girl. No one really saw I Rihanna. Rihanna was no one, well, you know what it is, is that like she was a slow burn. Like she had a couple of albums, and but she were, had a number one hit single. She was did that on the replay. Yeah, yeah, she did. But people still were not I? checking for the I, umbrella. I is think the it's song the team. That people were really yeah, checking that, for Rihanna. Yeah. But you but know what? I think it's the team. Mm-hmm. It's the team. And I did. I just didn't have a good team. I said that all point blank. Period. Right. That's it. Right. Wow. That's all how did it even came come down into to. cahoots with Jay Z. Like, how do you even find out? Um, I got signed. To, well, L.A. Reid signed me, and then Jay had just got his position as president of um, Def Jam, mm-hmm. and he just stamped it. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then he was like, you know, I like her sound for like Rockefeller. So then they put me on Rockefeller. Mm-hmm. And so you, the the people you hold accountable for that whole experience. Oh yeah, is your it's my team. personal team. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So you're cool with Jay now. You're cool with all those people. Yeah, I've seen all of those people. Really? Yeah. Wow. Since well, good. Then, we, we're just talking. Er- cool. good. We were just talking earlier that Rihanna watches the show, so hopefully she sees this and and hopefully everybody just stops put because I feel yeah. like yeah, your, your story. You guys maybe started out together, mm-hmm. but now you're doing your own thing and she's doing her own yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Everybody think, got yeah, their way. I'm so far removed from that time of my life. So, how do you? So, I remember, you know, one of your big moments was that song "Sponsor." Yes, um, <laughs> which I really, actually, <laughs> I really liked because I'm, I'm really good for finding one. Anyway. I know. I heard. <laughs> Oh just to God. take us all out to dinner. Oh just God. to take all my girls out to dinner. Okay. You just got some dick in Orlando. So Shut he's up. And we're not talking oh about me. God. We are talking about Tiara Marie. Show you her new Jeep when we go outside. Okay. Mm. So, Brand new. Mm-hmm. 
And I love a Jeep. That's like my dream. I, I know. That's my dream. No, it is. No, because it's just so like classic. It's, it's, it's just it's, it's timeless. Well, yeah. she got yeah. a sixty thousand dollar one right I, now. Oh, honey, is it tricked up? It's about to be. Ah. It, but it came with some extras. It's just, oh, oh, okay. Paid okay. Off, we're talking cash. We're talking about you right now. All right. So, how did you feel about the fact that B T B E T, who had a show like um, what was that show at night um, that you BET had to, Uncut? B E T Uncut. Mm-hmm. Yes. Took, took a moral stance oh, against. Yeah. Your they song did. sponsor. I forgot about that. And yeah. tried to ban it. And but they kept that, playing Tip Drill. <laughs> that's what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say. And is they were playing she... this song too that was like, uh, I want to kick it tonight. Mm-hmm. So, so let me tell, tell me what, what that thing smell like. like. Hey, and he was like sniffing his fingers and shit. I'm sorry, I don't watch BET. I'm from the Midwest. That was big in the Midwest. It's Gary, just, Indiana. Yes. But, it's but, so, but, but do you think it's because she's a woman? I, that's what I want to find out. Is it's it's kind of hypocritical that they took like you know they they, yeah, they took like a moral you know, stance on not having your your song played because it corrupted the morals of young girls. That's but the they which is crazy. And then you and got Ti saying you know I'm gonna buy you everything in the world. So mm-hmm. it, it's like uh, I'm receiving it. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. yeah, I mean, I was upset about that. So you both have history with Drake, right? You used to mess what? around with Drake, girl. What? Wait, who? What, Melissa what? Ford? Let's, we, I never. We are no. Fam- no? We, we are family. Wait, because I, I remember there was a party at Drake's house. Oh that was, it was a part of a storyline. I never got. Listen, oh, this is the okay, only the time I dig line. in my friend's yeah. business, okay? Okay, yeah, the storyline. Okay. So you never host. dated Drake or Master Drake or anything? Like no, that. we never dated. Right. Dated? <laughs> I like you. Did you so, have the end no, because, punctuation because, of that? Because I keep getting different dick reports, and I just want to just lay it on the line. No, no, I don't know what that dick uh-huh. feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, you want to chime in? I do not know what that dick <laughs> feel like. Well, I saw Bria Miles last night. Should have asked her. Oh, okay, so here we go. Okay, so <laughs> what's up, Bria Miles? I love something you. Something else. So, so you seem much more happier. Yes, you do. You do. Because the last time I saw you at Secret a few months ago. Or Secret? Probably, what, Secret Hookah Lounge. Oh, okay. Before you went into your rehab, you wasn't the nicest to me. I was mean to you? Yeah, and we've been, I've I been, do? I first met you about Girl, seven years Girl, just blame it on ago. the alcohol. Just blame and it honey, on the alcohol. Honey, that's I, what I I've do been that doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I say all that to say, I was, now, I, been drunk. <laughs> I say all that to say, now you have a, a tremendous glow and you have a much more warmer, welcoming spirit. So mm-hmm. I like you like this. You. Yeah. you got Geo. Because every time she see me, but we she act like my name's Sta- Cha- Chauncey. Like she, I'm like, girl, you've been knowing me <laughs> for eight, seven, eight years. Because a nigga named Chauncey is just sound like. Well, you can't I trust have him. a friend named Chauncey. He's pretty cool. But listen, sometimes you know, you you, you know, you men are a little creepy. We talked. I've earlier. never came on her. No, but we talked way. about earlier last night me going out with India Love and just seeing how men treat women in this industry. Sometimes you guys are a little predatory. Well, it's a little uncomfortable. I like to think that I am somebody in Hollywood, and she should know that. So therefore, right. well, my bad. I mean, so no, maybe, therefore no. Therefore, maybe her I am saying, didn't work. With, <laughs> when you're an attractive woman in the industry, you're naturally going to have a certain kind of guard. Because Melissa you Ford is shady as fuck. As soon as she say, gets out the car, not when a guy comes to say, bit. "Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, T, how you doing? Good to see you, girl." Nah, yeah. son. No, and even so you saying that, that I shaded you. No, no, it was just one time. It was. I was like, "Yo, T, what's up?" Because I'm not even like that. You remember me, right? Sounds like a lie. But I think no, I wouldn't let rely on you. And your no, he just wanted you to know who he was. That's all. I think he was probably lit. That's all. But yeah. So what did I do? I was like, I what? was like, yo, what's up, T? Because I had you... known you for years prior. And what and I did I do? I forget how we met because we went to supper club What together. did I do? So at Secret, I was like, yo, what's up, T? Good I, to see th- you. This is a little and too therapeutic like, for me. Really? I'm sorry. Gio, get out Look, your feelings. Tara, Tara. Shit. Can I address? I'm having, we have a guest. Okay. okay. I'm okay. addressing something I'm sorry, to give her a compliment. He's going through a breakup. Go ahead. No. We have a guest. So I'm giving her some... Some some accreditation of how I love her now, okay. opposed to before she got has it. this glow. Okay, okay, got it. So God is good. God is and great. And I like her God like is great. All, all the time. All the time. That's all <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. God okay, damn cool. it. All right. So <laughs> as we move along, I'm, a, I'm from Gary. She from Detroit. We got to be real. We real. It's a Midwest thing. Yeah. Another okay. connection. Okay. All right. So Cisco. <laughs> I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. No, we, talking that, <laughs> oh, we talking about that one. We talking about the Latino over there from Love oh, Hip Hop New York. Because I hate, uh, no, the Creep Squad. Creep Squad. I hate seeing when the <laughs> cast <laughs> moves people around New York. Like, our community is much bigger than that. And I, I honest, actually really met him and, like, I felt that was real. for him. You yeah. really liked him. Why? I did. And he, like, that's your I, type. That's your type? No. Okay, the swag, the personality? I, I think he just, like, showed me a great time. Constantly, and I was lonely, and 
It felt good. Vulnerable. You was vulnerable. I didn't like how he tried to play you, though. That was just I not didn't a, either. That was That's just what I was bullshit. saying. Like, you were, like, you knew that I was going to see this. So yeah. you came here to play me. Right. Damn, you know? that's deep. Like, I was mad about that. But I love how you handled it. You didn't handle it crying. Oh, I want my man. You were like, oh, nigga, I'm out. No. I'm out, honey. So y'all done. I'll be 30 this year. I, I got really? Mm -hmm. You're still a baby. Damn. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for that, you know? Y'all still talk? Y'all still? Um, I haven't spoken to him in a minute. What's your love life like right now? Beautiful. Good. I'm, yeah, I'm Self dating somebody that okay. I really like. Football player? No, but... Okay. Basketball player? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Jason, shut the fuck up. No, I don't know. I, 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 <sighs> yeah, he doesn't. Know. <laughs> Ladies, uh, uh, can I ask y'all a question? But no, no, it's not even like that. This is the first athlete. Like, I don't... I don't oh, you date that, regular that guys. That yeah. not You don't... You don't you know, date a regular I, guy? I, 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 that she just said that she dated regular I mean, guys. I mean, except for that. Right. You don't? Well, I never said that. Um. You're just attracted to... I'm attracted to... Go get it. man, yes. Mm -hmm. That's about as You could be a go-getter, not in the league. You know we didn't No, I, this is my first, like, I'm, I don't do. So it's going you know, good. It's going, yeah. You know when Keisha was here last week, we didn't ask her about her dating Bow Wow and Birdman and all that. <laughs> I, I, I That's got like to, total opposite, she dated right? Bow wow? That's like one end, yeah, I like got just so caught up in what we were talking about that I just, I didn't even look you at my got. sheet. Yo, she dated so Bow what Bow celebrity wow. man have you dated that nobody knows about? Because there has to be at least one. Let me think. You gotta be honest. I'll throw one of Melissa's out just for the sake no, of making No, how about we don't not do? How about we don't do that? How about we just not do I that? I would feel more comfortable with that. Daniel Sinjata. <laughs> well, no, no, everybody Daniel knows Sinjata. I dated I motherfucking Daniel Sinjata. Matt Barnes. No, well, I didn't date Matt Barnes. That doesn't. Uh, they went to it. coffee. Okay, you want to know who I dated that nobody knows about? Who I'm ready. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Ooh, I'm okay. ready. It was a long time Think about ago. About it before you said because you know he's gonna no, use it. I know it was Denzel a long time. Denzel Washington. Ooh, shut, shut up. up. It was a long time ago. He is married. He's happy. He's got kids. I don't want nothing Ray to J? do with. No, oh, no. God, no. <laughs> God, no, no. Ray, Ray J, J was like first. a little brother to me, <laughs> honestly. He really was, was when we were on BET. I want nothing. I'm not trying to walk down memory Who lane. Is it? Nah, I got to do all this shit. <laughs> right. Because when a woman starts talking about her pre previous dating life yes. and he's now happy, got a yes. happy home, suddenly she's a homewrecker. Oh, right. I, am, I don't want this man's home. She, it was she's a just trying to make me feel comfortable. Time ago. Arsenio Hall. Reggie Bush. <laughs> Really? Really? Now yeah, I, bitch. Yes. After Kim or before Kim? Before. That's how long oh, ago it was. Cute. Before. Yes. Mm. And how, I love. This is like this. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Six degrees of separation? <laughs> you date him too? No, I'm oh. just saying. Because Ray J. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Kim. Like, a, a little bit. Crazy. A little bit. You know, I love it. Yeah. I, did, I, did, I honestly didn't really know who he was until. Now I've heard about his dick game. You want to talk about it? No, oh, my I gosh. No, I'll tell somebody that I dated and nobody I, knew I dated. Okay, Ooh. tell me. <laughs> Taj Mahal. I have n <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My agent called me, told me to kick your ass. You keep fucking with Taj. <laughs> Fuck your agent. I got security. No, listen. listen I'm done. I, I, this woman is married. She, I don't want to break up her home. Okay. I've never, I'm not, I don't want her. Who? Cassie. Lies. You ain't I don't believe this Cassie. motherfucker. I'm I'm hold on. I'm texting Cassie right now. Because <laughs> I know that ain't Girl, true. did you? <laughs> no, your turn. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. My turn. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Lil Wayne. Really? What? How'd you guys keep that quiet? Well, you know, never mind. Don't worry. I'm. I'm. No, I'm, girl, I'm, I'm, girl, I'm, I'm, girl. I'm great at keeping quiet. Listen, shit listen, quiet, listen, right? listen. We had a prior guest quiet. by the name of Lizbeth Ruiz who came on here openly admitting her relationship with Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. and she says that he's super clean, he's super hygienical, he smells good, all this shit. He's a good mm -hmm. guy. Hygienical's not Hygi a word though. Well, Just whatever. You know what I mean? What's your experience with him? Is that true? Well, I'm not going to get into the experience now. Yeah, mm. you got to. No, he is clean. Good. Mm. What do you assume? That because he has dreads, he's going to yeah, be dirty? Yeah, I think everybody with dreads, I feel like they... they, they don't be... Oh, no, don't be an God. asshole. You They're sound like not. Hazel E. Mm. <laughs> I, listen, that's my opinion. I just feel like when I see somebody Racist with dreads... Racist motherfucker? I feel like with dreads, I feel like they got it. You know. Why? Yeah, that is prejudice. I saw that model, Lucas, last night. Lucas, I can't remember. Light skin? Yeah, he, he has dreads, but he looks very clean. As a matter of fact, guys yeah, who have dreads... Sometimes they be smelling real good. Yeah. Like, yeah. They take good like care the hair, of themselves. Yeah. Yes. Like, you sniff Otherwise, the hair, that's you just get a fall out. Yeah, girl. It's <laughs> gotta take care. Please. There's so much going on in the show. Okay. <laughs> so, new, are you and... Um, I keep trying to get hit makeup here. What's his name? Youngberg. Are you and Youngberg cool or not cool? What's um, that? You know what? I haven't spoken to him, but he 
sent well wishes my way. So okay. yeah, I, I won't say that I have because he's working now. Him. I mean, he's in the super yeah. working. Yeah. Him and A one super. Yeah. Well, maybe y'all can get a record together. Or something. Yeah, we have one that did really well. For yeah, me. I know, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So he does so mainly really talented. He does mainly producing now, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, used to be an artist. Found out artist wasn't his. Yeah, I heard he had a job at like Atlantic. Yeah, Atlantic. He's a vice president or something now over there. Oh wow, like Rico Suave. Yeah, he's working. Remember Rico Suave? Yes, Geronimo. Literally, he stays in the studio and he. He's doing an album with Black China. Gerardo. Oh, album, what? Out. She got a single coming out. Oh, go to yeah. hell. That's real? Tomorrow yeah. at oh, 7 o'clock. He called, he called, because I went on a rant here about China. Yeah. And he called me and Why she was on the phone. Rant? Oh, that's Oh, wait. That, so did y'all make up? Wait. No, because I told her I couldn't make up on the phone. She'd have to come on the show. Everybody. Because I got say? beat hell up. No? No, she says she could whenever she can, when she's ready, when, when they're ready. Cardi B okay. is making a lot of these stuff. girls yeah. think they can go and do music. Just Cardi like, B had a number one hot yeah, one. Yeah, but she's making album. a lot of girls think they can get off a goddamn pole and just go do music. But I think any woman can come from anywhere and do anything. Yeah, and do anything Look, anything, the yeah. Daniel Bergoli, Cash Me Outside s- chick, got, she's charting bigger than signed artists. But I keep hearing that her music is... It's really, it's good. Kind yeah, of all right. I heard, like, Daniel I saw Bergoli? a little freestyle with her yeah. and it was like... First she off, was sounding like what's current. I'm not going to say she's trash because my homegirl, Brittany Barber, Brittany B is doing her whole project, but I just don't condone it. Well, I, I saw, I was eating a salad, <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not. Where was you at? In West Hollywood. And she walked up. Well, I was with Alyssa. She walked up with her security guard and she was so sweet and nice. Mm-hmm. You know, some people, when you see them, I mean, they got their own act or whatever. Yeah. But uh-huh. if you can chart, you're doing something right, whether we like oh, it or not. She's charting yeah. bigger than... Artist, that's okay. Right so new music. What's yes. wh- what do we expect? Because now you're back. I mean, I, it's so funny when I said I saw you in my office. I was like, she looks good. People are like, really, really, really. And then now you walk in the room, everybody's like, damn, she's amazing. Looks good. What's mm-hmm. now that the new Tier Marie is back? What what what's yes? Next? Music is definitely on the way. I have a single called Uber. It's so funny. It, it, was, it, was, it was not on purpose though. Like it just came up and it was. You know, like I'm on my way to a dick appointment, mm-hmm. and you know it's cute, Melissa. You know, and I that. got into I like it. That. I got into it with the Uber driver in the <laughs> song too. Okay, <laughs> I like that. Is there like a reenactment kind of thing? It, like it wasn't supposed to be that, but it just uh, it, it, it turned into it. It worked out like that. Video too. Yes, a video as well. Them cheekbones is on motherfucking. <laughs> Wait, so Stop. now that he's newly single, so just I mean, I'm not gonna oh, lie. You really are dream. going yeah. to a broken? Uh, absolutely, I'm not gonna lie. What's your you sign? Like, I'm a Capricorn. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, you looking like a whole Snack. meal right now. No, Thank you. meal, yes. meal. Oh. My bad, mm. my bad. <laughs> but you and your girl still ain't all the way broke up. You got to let that let the I dust talk to her. Anyway, yeah, let the thing on. air out. Okay, so so <laughs> so Keisha was just here and she was talking about being independent. Do you want to get back on? Do you want to be on a label? Or do you want to be independent or? You know what? I think I want to be independent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You make yeah. more money. Mm. You know. Mm. Look it up. You Mac need to Miller. talk to Floyd. You know, Floyd got money and he got a label that he needs to be doing stuff with. For real? Yes. Mm-hmm. He has a label. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't know. Just pouring money. Just uh, money, money. Your money, what's the name oh. of it? I'll talk to him. I'll figure it out. <laughs> money team? Money, no. Money team music group. Yep, money team mm-hmm. music group. Oh, MC. Mm-hmm. MG. Yep. Tier, when's your birthday? December 2nd. For you, is sad. Yep. I'm a Capitarius. Yeah, but I act like a Scorpio. Yes, yes, you do. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> so I was just like, I wonder if she's part of the Scorpio no. gang. I'd love to have you part of the yeah. crew. <laughs> I'm oh. almost there, but my, my rising is Scorpio. That's the, then that's why you act like yeah. one. So are you going to go back and do the show again? Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't just leave off, oh, she went to rehab and, you know, like mm-hmm. I have to, yes, and show the world, like, this is what it's like. Mm-hmm. After rehab. Yes. Mm-hmm. But the only person that you had real conflict with this season was Hazel, right? Yeah. Other mm-hmm. than that, I was going through my own stuff. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Masika's feet? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Because I don't really know women hills and all that, what, but to like to be totally honest with you, I don't know what to think because I'm I'm just like I, like how did that like how how does that happen? Listen, every woman's feet's been dirty. Is at the some cameraman point in life. just a shady motherfucker? No, 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 but she did. She was coming out swinging on the camera. Yeah, people. The, the thing about it is <laughs> the, the crew is really nice. They're really nice yeah, people. But if yeah. you fuck with the crew, fuck with editors, what you think? See, that's what I was thinking. Did did um, security just say? Yeah, Masika, well, first you, you of all, Zell called it out. He was like, and your feet dirty. And then the get cameraman her feet, get her feet. zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> no, so because I don't know, because I, I told Masika last night she can come on the show. She was actually hanging out with Fetty Wap. I, I don't know. She, Fetty Wap was at the house babysitting. Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap, Wap. He was babysitting the beautiful baby while she was at the party. Oh, yeah. And Alexis so is at church in Atlanta protecting her womb because she has a child by him coming. 
I just don't know. In the world of Fetty, he needs his own show with all his girls listen, and all his kids and his one eye. I don't understand how the <laughs> oh hell God. he be getting these. Uh, listen. And he makes some beautiful babies, though. He, he, oh, does, he does make does. some beautiful he does. babies. He does make some beautiful babies. How many babies? kids? He got like 12? I don't know. He got a group home. Well, so, I mean, answer. <laughs> so for your feet, because I don't know women's heels. Can, can a woman... I'm trying... For your feet. Me and Keisha ran into... Um, Masika at the W, and we were actually trying to understand the foot thing, and she had an explanation. Did Keisha that ask her? She, yeah. What'd she say? I know Keisha Keisha passed. had been sipping some wine. She goes, so girl, uh, your foot. How was your feet? <laughs> she said she was driving, and somehow the, the bottom of her the foot. The whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, did y'all ask that? Like, the whole thing? <laughs> y'all, y'all fucked up. She man. had that's, an explanation, but it seemed a little too fraudulent. Masika, bring your ass on the show. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, let her answer that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, is there anybody on the show that you would date now? No. So no. Solo Lucci don't have a chance. No. <laughs> He's a nice guy. But no. He's a nice guy. Did I you think, think that Booby was as attractive as everybody? Was everybody seemed to be like fucking dying over him? Am I getting this Booby right? Booby wants to come on the show. I was just with him yesterday. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. He's Booby's a, a cutie pie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a nice but, guy. Can I, I mean, I can give you some tea. Okay. You know he was dating Kamaya while we were filming. Uh, oh, for real. Kamaya from what? The YG song? No, from Love and Hip Hop. This dating oh. Bradley Bill now. Wait, so are they divorced yet? Who? Him and Keisha. Yeah, oh, they no, almost no, done. No, it's no, just about so. done. Almost done. Okay. They're almost done. Yeah, it's a process. Okay. So, yeah, because that was like crazy. I was like, ooh, is it, do you want it's kids? about to be do a you, girl you, fight with you, Brooke and Keisha. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Do you want marriage and children? And You know what? At this point in my life, I made a decision like, you know, if it happens, it happens. If not, I'm not. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you're still young. So you're not like Claudia Jordan looking at your watch every five minutes. Oh, like, Fuck, Jason, stop it right now. Oh, she what? does do that. I used to stop be it. <laughs> no, we cool. We no. Is that bad? I didn't. I was, yeah, that wasn't. That's bad. That, that was low key. That wasn't shade. That wasn't shade. That was some shady. Okay, well, fuck it. Damn. Okay, <laughs> let me ask you a question, Tierra, about going back with rehab because there's a 12 step program, correct? We didn't do that there, though. Okay, that's what I mm -hmm. wanted to know because there, the apparently the ninth step is where you start looking, you know, to people that you've harmed or hurt. right making a Men's. And making amends. Mm -hmm. so Is I was Hazel gonna, on that list? I was no. apparently not. He ain't she ain't mm -mm. seem to give a fuck about that. Anyways, um, so I wanted to ask you about that. But if you didn't do the twelve step thing, then no, you know, we didn't. Um, you guys do the chip but there thing. Are, yeah, that they, they did the, the chip sobriety thing. chip. Yep. Okay. So what's, I got, what's that? It's like some, every thirty days, you yeah. get a new. Oh, chip the chip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. it was some people who had completed like. 50 years of sobriety. Wow. Yeah. Wait, it's a chip that they put in you? No, no it's just like a chip. A piece of... No, like you, you get it. It's like a coin. Chip. Yeah. So my mother like used to be... a gambling My mother used to go to NA. Yeah. I remember when I went sober after Whitney died mm -hmm. for that two and a half years. <laughs> and I remember... Oh, I thought you was about to say two and a half weeks. No, two and a half years. I'm <laughs> no, like, he really did. Sober. That's he cute. did. And it was like the best time. It's just now where I'm at, it's so hard to really get back. Because it yeah. is hard. Like, mm -hmm. I would have to take a break and then how do I run Hollywood Unlocked for I'm just glad that he doesn't get drunk the way he used to his yeah blackout, i've seen him before too my god it was like 20 bulls in a china shop yeah. you couldn't control him and it was scary but i remember queen latifah calling me and, and but you are an example though of like still you know doing your keeping shit. It, yeah. yeah but but i remember queen latifah calling me and asking me if 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 i would want her to go with me to an aa meeting mm -hmm. and i remember feeling so embarrassed like shameful to go in a room and because my mother used to do mm -hmm. that and she mm -hmm. was like she was going to these means and getting the coins and the boards and all that. Mm -hmm. But do you, did you, how did you get past the shame of having an alcohol problem and then doing all that? Um, I was just like forced, you know, like mm -hmm. I was in rehab. I had to face reality, mm -hmm. you know, it's no shame. <laughs> Damn. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, seeing it back, you know, when we shoot all this stuff and then to have to watch it back, like that's the part that's like, What's one, of the, what's one of the worst moments that you have had to watch back knowing that you were fucking sloshed and your behavior was unbecoming of a lady? Um, what was one of the worst, like, you know, things for you to watch? See, like he said, I never start anything. Uh -huh. So I feel like in most of my confrontations, mm -hmm. I've been warranted. Because mm -hmm. um, Ray J said the one scene that he... That made him really stay focused on how he did the show was the scene with you when he had the when he threw the my, cool. my stuff on the floor. Yeah. He mm -hmm. said that was. I think at, and for me that season as well. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. even that night, like mm -hmm. I went fucking crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it 
you know, it was warranted though. Exactly. Yeah. But I could have kept it a little more calm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, I put my hands on him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like knowing that he can't, you know, fight mm -hmm. back. So you know, it it was a lot to watch back. So are you completely over that relationship now? And oh, glad absolutely. That him and Princess are doing their thing. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. That's I good. definitely. That, you know, every everybody has somebody, and he mm -hmm. he's definitely not my somebody. Mm -hmm. mm. Did so, you have an expectation that. that you were going to get an invite to the wedding? Heck no. Oh, just checking. Yeah. I, and Nick, I Nikki wouldn't did. have went. Yeah. Nikki, Nikki did. did. Yeah, she okay. did. Yeah. She was a little upset about that because she, she thought that her and Princess were in a good place. And they weren't. Clearly that, not. That show okay. really isn't about people being your friend. No. Right. I mean, I, I did earn a friendship with Nikki. Once you, you know, once you realize that, you, yeah, then you can I, do it. Yeah, me and Nikki are friends as yeah, well. Yeah. But that's it. Like, I'm just like everybody else. I mean, you know, y'all cool and all, but y'all will throw me under the bus in the a first minute for a storyline. Yes. Because mm -hmm. them cameras, see, you don't know your schedule the whole season, but you know, it's like I told Mona this the other day that she was delusional. Mm. And I said, you reward bad behavior. You put two starving dogs in a room and you throw a bone. Mm -hmm. And that's what the fuck you get. Mm -hmm. And when you have this delirium that people aren't going to fight when you put them in that situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. shit, right? But I think the thing that I know what 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 I, was surprising for me is the first season I saw, it ain't no real loyalty. People will switch up for yeah. that story because mm -hmm. you want that camera time. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like in all my seasons on the show, I've been as authentic as, as I can be. And mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is like the People Hunger Games it. watching that show. It is. It is. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Well, I never seen that movie, but they 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 drop you off like in in like the middle this, of nowhere, and you all have to fight, fight for your life. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. love, That's love hip hop. Yeah. Well, listen. Thank you for coming on the show. I thank know you for having me. As finally, and thank you for you. like your support off off camera. And when Melissa is off. Call me. I'm, okay, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. I, call can I, can me. I, I oh, you? I will, girl. <laughs> can I, I will. <laughs> well, we don't want you to have another. No, I just Gio. want a friend. I'm no. not. I, don't, I just want a friend. I don't want to be a band-aid. No, 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 no. We got like Bible study and shit. Bible study? She's sober. That don't mean she's becoming a monk. Right. <laughs> That's what I be telling people like. Damn, respect the curve. <laughs> Cam said it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> curve queen number one and curve, curve queen, queen number, number two. two. Yes, I can All show right. you some things, girl. Right. We're just going to jump right into things. Yeah. Melissa, what's popping? What, uh, what have you been doing this week, the well, weekend? Um. Well, you know, I went to go see the boo. <laughs> Did you get dick? I mean, that was how we left off the last show. He's starting to understand what it's like to date a Scorpio. Wow. Okay. Shout out to everybody, Scorpio season. <laughs> so Sorry. does that mean, because I know they said Scorpios are freaks. My ex was a Scorpio and he wasn't as much a freak as I was. Um... Yeah, we're pretty freaky. Yeah, and we like a lot of sex. Like I was trying to, you know, let him know just how much I like. You know, it's like opening up the floodgates. You know, either like it's like the the barn doors close and there's cobwebs ev everywhere, or it's just like a fucking ocean. Listen, I got a text from a <laughs> random person saying, "Bro, have you seen Melissa's fucking um, Instagram story?" And apparently, I heard you had some nips out. <gasps> Oh my God. I don't know nothing about Nipgate. Oh my this God. This is a random text I got from somebody. Oh my God. So last night I drank a bottle of wine. This was on your Snapchat? Her yeah, Instagram story. In my Instagram story. Okay. And I had on a bra and I thought it was covering everything. Yeah. So I'm just like, eh, you know. Being and slutty like you always are when you're drunk. Fuck you. <laughs> and then I went back and looked at it. I was like, oh my God. Was it God, like, was it Areola was just nipple out? I was drunk. It was enough for, you for you to get a phone call. I know, right? That's somebody having just a random number. Yeah. And then I got a random DM for somebody saying, screenshotting your picture and saying, Melissa got some dick. <laughs> okay, so listen. So, so now that you got, so now that you guys are actively having sex, mm. is it everything that you want it to be, or could it be better? No, it's amazing. Okay. Oh my god. You sure it's just not that honeymoon phase? That no. New shit. No. Because no. everything is great in the first four months. Mm -hmm. So basically, we could say this weekend was a slam dunk. Yes, it. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So I'm how did so, I really like him? So Shawnee O'Neal, who I've been trying to get on the show, <laughs> can you officially join Basketball Wives now? No. No. Why? I because who that's, said her boyfriend's that's, an NBA player? That's not the type. Well, of... Well, she was courtside at the game, so I was not oh. courtside at any game. I was. I was you were not. sitting at a basketball game in Orlando. People can start to draw the conclusion. I mean, <laughs> Hollywood Unlocked is not going to put your business out because I don't do that. Oh my fucking god! You kind of just did a little bit. I was not courtside. I was just chilling. How's and... Mickey? How's Mickey doing? 
Uh huh. <laughs> You're gonna be down at Epcot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anywho, um, <laughs> I wouldn't join the cast because I just don't want to, you know, do the whole drink throwing thing and mm-hmm. all my business being in the streets. That's thing. good. But you could be the voice of reason. I get. I was the voice of reason on my show and still got a bottle against my motherfucking you head. Was, you was in the scene with a gorilla. What you thought was going to happen? I, oh, we're not going to start. No that. Speak about Harambe. Have you noticed we don't talk about that motherfucker no more? Um, He's dead. Yeah. No, but when I die, I, 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 that's why I want to be like iconic like Mike. I want them to talk about me for yeah, years Mike and Walsh years. Mike couldn't go to sleep. Are you referring to the actual <laughs> monkey who got shot? Yes. 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 He's um, saying Harambe is yeah, not and, iconic. Yeah. No, no I, Michael Jackson is iconic. Like I want to be talked about for years. Yeah, but you know, Michael like I, I don't sleep. I don't want to be one of those people that dies and then on Tuesday everybody's a sugar fish like ordering the, <laughs> the fucking You meal. want people distraught. You know, Jason for, Lee's passed away and CNN, you're on the ticker and people are like, you I, know. We don't even talk about Nelson Mandela anymore. Damn, that's deep. That's I think up, about him, though. I do think about no, him. No, I mean, I used to have on my wall back in the day because I had a white mama. Mm-hmm. So, you know, her way of making me feel like a young black man was getting me pictures of Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and there was another black nigga I couldn't think of that was in spur- Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. My mom bought oh, me, Nelson Mandela. Okay. My mom bought me Waiting to Exhale. Really? That was my white mother's, you know, attempt at trying to connect with her. she showed you early on, burning nigga shit down when you <laughs> Yeah, I know. I got that memo. Well, welcome back. I'm glad that you had a good time in Orlando. Mm. Glad you got some dick. You seem really happy. I yeah, am. you do seem a little bubbly. Aren't I glowing? Yeah. So listen, yeah. I'm going to lay this up for him. Oh, God. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> it takes teamwork to make the dream, dream work. work. All right. So, Gio, what have you been doing? Uh, I just finished filming Black Jesus, a uh, new character on Black Jesus. And I just booked a reoccurring role on Unsolved. Nice. Which I start filming next week. What is Unsolved, though? It's about uh, Biggie and Tupac murder, okay. USA. Who Anthony are you Hemingway. playing? Are you playing Biggie? No. <laughs> no, I play <laughs> Reggie White Jr., uh, the head of security for Death Row Records. Okay. A very, very important character in this show. I actually think I met Reggie. He used to sit at the front when you walk, got off the elevator at Death Row. There used to be a security guard. There were guns sitting right there. Yeah, and it was a red carpet. That's and, me. Okay. Yeah, that's well, me. yeah, I didn't like that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I would duly note that in my mind when I'm going into he, he was good at his job. You could not... Yeah. You could not walk on past a certain point or yeah, you would have a problem. very arrogant guy. But you very. Know, I, it's going to be nice to see you playing that role because you're you're a sweetheart. You're, thank you. you're really yeah. you're a nice person. So it'll be nice to see you, you know, playing the character of a, of a real uh, dickhead. So, and that's I, what and I, like. I, need, I need to start that's watching like. some of your things so I can get a call to speak because Jerusalem sitting over there uh, saw one of your shows and read the reviews. And apparently you took a lot of shits or something in a movie. I don't know. Some shit. Some shitty. Movie. Uh, she's talking about a uh, <laughs> hashtag love swag. Mm. That shit was like 12 years ago. I was so green. I think people were tired of you. But I was shitting. the lead. No, it's because I had hemorrhoids in the movie. <laughs> yeah, but don't know. She, she told me that, and I couldn't think about you getting your ass eaten and having a hemorrhoid. It was just really disgusting. I mean, what happens if you bite it and it pops, and now you have hemorrhoid <laughs> juice? And just, oh my god, that's well. So listen, disgusting. on top of those blessings, man, I will say I am on hold for a very, very, very big show. I'm on. I'm on a veil. So, God willing, I get this. It's by a very powerful black woman in the industry. You can say who it is. Oprah, I can't. Ava DuVernay. Duvernay. She's in that. She's in that bracket. Okay, Oprah. Uh, up there. And um, there's no up there. Uh, there's no up there with it's Oprah. There. Oprah is. It's like is there. Oprah. There's nobody above Oprah. Oprah Tyler Perry. No, Oprah. Tyler Perry. <laughs> oh, you talking about women? women. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like Oprah, this person, Ava DuVernay, but she's up there. And um, I just got my apartment, man. I moved the fuck out. Really? Really? Yeah. You so, got an apartment? Yeah. So are you and your right gr- around the block? Hey. Are you and, so are you and your girl completely over? I don't know. She just got back from New York. I haven't talked to her at all. Sounds you know? like you guys are fucking over. I don't know. I just wish her none but the best. I love her with every core of my soul. And if it's meant to be, it's going to be. But in the meantime, between time, I'm going to catch this glow up. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Caught this blessing. So, there, are, so are you in the streets? Like, are you actively fucking or are you just I like, still haven't had sex, But man. do you want to? Like, of course, I, of, course, no, I haven't, of course I want to, but I just don't. I don't feel like it's completely over her, and I just don't want to just be out here fucking bitches because I've done that before in past relationships, and it makes the shit worse nah, emotional wise. Nobody, for me, don't let nobody have their cake and eat it too. If you break up on me on Tuesday, <laughs> you be fucking Tuesday night. I'm at Boosie Bellows <laughs> on Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no, there is no way that bed don't never get caught. In fact, I got to get a new bed because I had somebody laying in my bed the other day. And I got the right mattress, but I don't have the right frame. Frame, right? And that shit went, and it, it made a noise. <laughs> what you have like a king size mattress and a queen, queen size, size frame? No, no, no. Yeah. I have I have everything. Okay. Everything around. is sized up, but yeah. it's just I think it's the wrong nigga in your bed frame. No, it's the wrong frame for that type of mattress. I think or something. I don't know. Okay. Either way, I think I got two or three more good nights. 
And, and then, then you're going to fall through the bed. I'm going to be sitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah, but I got a really nice spot, man. It's beautiful. Nice. Okay. It's beautiful. Well, I would like y'all to come. Have a homecoming. Yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll bring a, like a tea warming? kettle or something. I, I might. Yeah, eat. that's what I meant. Ha- <laughs> sorry. I'm still digmatized. I mean, you know, yeah. I have to check my schedule because I'm really busy. But I will, <laughs> I'm having I, like two weeks. I will at least curry or something to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you. that's funny. So listen, last night I went to the Pretty Little Things party. Uh, Umar, who owns Pretty Little uh-huh. Things, had this party. Uh, Diddy performed. We got Floyd to come out. There's the Floyd mentioned for the show, so somebody could attack me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we had, I mean, Justin Combs, Diddy, um, Chanel West Coast, Rosa Cars, everybody was there. Uh, I went with India Love. Yeah, saw that. Ooh, okay. Jesus India Christ. Love is now my new favorite affection. <laughs> Mickey Baby affection. was being shady as fuck, not returning my calls and not hanging out mm. and stopped responding. So, I mean, not, not she responded, but she didn't give me the time that I need. Okay. So I went and found me another bad one. Okay. Yo, India Love is bad, but you you know, I like what? her sister more. Yeah, people like, people like her sisters. But listen, what I love about India is she wasn't pressed to be at somebody's table. Mm-hmm. I mean, she did go over with Tayana Taylor and Christina Milian and all those to whatever. Because mm-hmm. I, I didn't want her to be walking around. It's like if you were there, I wouldn't want you to just walk around. Mm-hmm. But she was cool. She just wanted to walk around and have a good time. We did a photo booth. We drank. We had a good time. Was she clothed? Was her breast out this time? Who cares? She's a gorgeous ass girl. Yeah. Like shit. Yeah. What yeah. she can do whatever she wants. But Listen. One, but one thing Amber Rose has taught me that mm-hmm. I now am sensitive to mm-hmm. is watching how niggas treat y'all. Mm. Oh yeah. No, it's okay, like Okay, so what'd you notice? They just treat y'all like property. <laughs> no, no, but monopoly. it's like it's like they can't even just accept the fact that you're there and you're having a conversation. They yeah. want to salivate and it's almost like predatorial. Yeah. So one dude was like, hey, baby, you know, I said, this is my wife, bro. He's <laughs> like, my bad, my bad, my bad. I said, and she's pregnant. She's sipping champagne, by the way. I'm like, and she's pregnant. He was like, my bad, my bad. And he walked away. She looked at me. She's like, yo ass is crazy. Don't you remember when we were at a party That's one hilarious. time? I'm going to leave the details as to whose party it was. And you were like trying to fast track it out of there like in an Uber. And you were trying to leave me. And I was like, Jason, you can't whose leave. Whose party was that? Uh-uh. Oh, you, Diddy's. Yeah. Okay, well, then there it is. You can't leave me. No, like, it's really, it's... Like, you can't leave me are, because the okay, sharks let me, come let out. Let me leave a woman by herself, Jason. Let me say this, and this is probably going to piss a lot of guys off, but ladies, I know y'all can feel me. Niggas ain't shit. Because on top of that, it be the whack-ass, no swag-having motherfucker that think you, you... This guy pressed up on India Love. I'm looking at him like... Really? Yeah, and if you? you yeah, and if you weren't there and she turned him down, he would have been like, Then fuck you then, bitch. bitch. Yeah, what is that about? It's just like so I'm all kinds of bitches like <laughs> now because I turned you down, but just five hey, seconds ago you were ready to like impregnate me. Cameron just said it the other day, respect the curve. I yeah. respect the curve. Yeah. Oh listen, you, you curve me, I'll take somebody else to Hawaii. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. But I will say we had we hung out the other day. Mm. I was so drunk. Yeah. Oh, I need to get on the, the top recap of the border. Of I was with you. I Afterwards. Oh no, we'll talk later. No, so no, no, no. we so we were at the Waldorf Astoria. No, rooftop. we started at the catch. We started off at catch for brunch. For brunch. And then we ended up at the Waldorf Astoria rooftop, which is by far the hottest thing it's the in most LA. Beautiful. Where was I at? I, I, no one. You were I finding mean, an apartment. You, you were know, doing. You're moving in. You're doing true, some that's shit. True. We, we were. We were really considerate of your time yes. and <laughs> what your emotional state. Yes. Go ahead. And so he is steady texting me, letting me know that I am not part of the plan after this rooftop because he's got a situation. Plan, he's got a little situation. Mm-hmm. So I still have to find out how the little situation went. You know what's so funny is I met a prince from Africa on the roof. And you, you know what I thought? Say. No, a prince from Africa at the Waldorf Astoria. <laughs> That's Akeem from fucking coming to America. I know, Akeem. We, we make that joke all Who the time. Okay, but what I loved about hanging out, you know I got so drunk. Why didn't you take my phone? I FaceTimed everybody. I know you did. I you kept putting the game. me on the phone with them. I FaceTimed the game and I said, nigga, where have you been? Are you on house arrest? <laughs> no, nigga, we in the studio. Him. And he was, he, the angle of his phone though, which I thought was really interesting, is he was flexing real hard. Uh, on that FaceTime. I mean, that muscle, he must have put on some cocoa butter. That motherfucker was shiny. <laughs> and then I put her on the phone. And then we FaceTimed ASAP Rocky, who seemed depressed. Damn, he, that's crazy. Message. He was... He, he, he was he's he, on top of the world. He seemed depressed. He well, was, I mean, he, he you know, he's, he's, an, he's an artist. And yeah. artists usually, like, you know, Going feel really, you know... He a, was really down. He was. What was he... You didn't tell you he was down about? No, I wouldn't tell on well, the show anyway. No. But I text him and I just say, bro, I, I don't, you are fucking ASAP Rocket. I don't ever want to hear that 
that mm-hmm. feeling again, you know? And he was like, thank you. I appreciate that. But he was, he said he's going to link up with us when he gets out here. But I had a good time that day. Yeah, you FaceTime Keisha Cole. You FaceTime India. You're FaceTiming everybody. What you, you, I <laughs> What's st- the name of the place again? World off Astoria? <laughs> the Waldorf Astoria. Where is that at? I never heard of that. It's new. It's in Beverly Hills. It's in a different, it sounds it's in a different area. Code. You, you, don't, you don't get that way. <laughs> but no, it was a good time. But last night's party was really cool. And uh, so I, I ran into Melissa Ford yesterday. Uh, Rihanna's, Rihanna's oh, Melissa my. Ford. I know. And so I go up to her, right? I see her and I'm like, damn, I, I heard Rihanna watches the show, but I don't want to seem so creepy. <laughs> and so I walked over. I said, okay, listen, before you leave, can we get a picture? She was like, Jason, what are you going to put on the caption? I go, you know my name? She was like, of course I know who you are. And I go, okay. I said, so you got to come on our show. She was like, nah, I've seen your show. Y'all be asking some messy ass questions. I'm like, we would not ask you anything messy. I said, you've been a loyal friend. You mm-hmm. got your own swag. You got your own shit going on. Mm-hmm. You smoke blunts. Melissa smokes blunts. She was yeah. like, and she said, I love Melissa Ford. Oh, wow. And I said, okay, cool. And I said, so the rumor is that you and Rihanna have seen our show. And she was like, yeah, we watch you guys. I <laughs> didn't Damn. know what the fuck to say. I just walked away. Then I came back and took pictures. Damn, that's crazy. So next time I'm out and Rihanna's there, she might recognize me. Maybe. But it I doesn't mean, necessarily mean she'll go talk to you. No, no, but she'll probably be nice if I approach her. Maybe. So I called somebody this morning and told them about the conversation last night. And they were like, why are you surprised that people are watching your show? Your show is fucking hot. And I really feel like we come in here, we try our best to deliver a good show. We There's not a lot of pre-planning. Niggas today, <laughs> Giovanni was pissing me off dealing with his bungle, bundle pack or whatever kind of <laughs> discount he was trying to get. Melissa ran in here, titty out, late car. I was park. dealing with my cable. <laughs> I learned more about your cable package today, bro, than I ever want to hear again. Okay? The board don't never work. D fucking with trannies. Like, it's just a lot of shit. Jason was an asshole 15 minutes ago. Oh, Mm -hmm. Jason's going to be an asshole when we go get some music. (laughs) But Jason has to do the show. So, 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 no, it was good to hear that Rihanna's listened to the show. And I've Mm -hmm. heard of other people listen to the show. And it's just just amazing how we started this thing. And it's just kind of... Grown legs. Just some random shit. I One look year back, later. I look back at, no, it's way more than a year. Well, I'm talking about a year. I look back year. at that first episode and <laughs> I'm just so glad it's so far deep in there in the you, archives. You, you look, it ain't that deep. If they can go dig it out, you look like you had caught an Uber from the Slots and Swap Me. I really did. I really did. I don't know what was but going on with you, my eyebrows I'll either. You, week number two, mm-hmm. your yes. ass was put together. I, I I put some cocoa butter on. I put a little bit of makeup on because that first show, I was like, what the leg up and everything? Like, yeah, chewing gum. You just say that you thought you were shooting a pilot. You didn't know that it was going to be recorded. It was I, <laughs> because I was put. I was. Bit. I was so put together last night. People was looking at me. I'm like, look, I know how to clean up when I need to clean up. <laughs> yeah. I don't always look homeless. Yeah. yeah uh, hilarious. Yeah. But no, this has been an, a, a very interesting and very productive week. I had a meeting with Nick Cannon the other day at his office. He mm. really enjoyed this interview, and so we're talking about working. And he's um, just positive, and he wants to see everything that we want to do in television happen. So we'll see. Damn. One thing I forgot to say in my recap is that we had, <clears throat> I had have, I have bought at brunch, I bought some Wagyu. Because, you know, when we get in the spirit of mm-hmm. food, it's like Thanksgiving. We just order yeah. and it comes. That little. Six ounces or less of Wagyu. $156. Yes. I almost said, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and it came with this hot stone. So he had to even cook his own meal. You had to cook I your my- fucking $150 meat. I don't have a problem cooking my meat, but that's between me and Pornhub. <laughs> As for brunch, I ain't doing that shit no more. Uh, I, I looked at him and I still gave him a 20% tip because I still believe in tipping. Yes. The only way I won't tip you is if you're just outright disrespectful or wasting my time. But here's where here's where I thought he went wrong. He should have told you how much the Wagyu is per ounce. That He should have because did, it's expensive. And, did, and, did, and he just... Said okay, well I'm just gonna. Did you slap. see? Did you see my face when he handed me the bill? You were like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> Wagyu. I, was like, I never heard of that before. Yeah, and you never will you don't for me. Say, what is it? You don't say. It's a high end meat. Yes. I, oh. It's beef. Wow. Japanese wow. cows. Wagyu. They've been they've been given a diet that's high in fat, so that the meat is like heavily marbleized. Mm-hmm. Sounds yeah. delicious. So when you hear it in songs, that's why these people are rapping about it because it's some rich shit. But wag you. Yeah, don't wag you. Okay, so what's going on yeah. in the world? Well, you know something. You know, you mentioned eating ass a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, the, it's just that kind of show. <laughs> and um, Gabrielle Union was is getting slaughtered for making certain comments about her love life with Dwayne Wade. Mm-hmm. She's and <clears throat> and uh, so she's, you know, kind of on the defensive right now. And basically the comments were that she enjoys tossing her man's salad. Uh, mm. God bless you, Miss Union. 
Yeah. Mrs. But Union what, way. But what's the issue? Is so a- I'm, I'm just wondering what you think, like in terms of a, a lot of people's comments are TMI. And I'm just like, isn't that a little redundant? Everybody I, seems to want to know everything about celebrities' life, like every corner of it. But when it comes to something that they don't agree with, it's just like, oh, you should get it. Kept that to your fucking self. I, she's a Scorpio. I applaud her for being so open-minded. Yeah, I am not that open-minded. I am not tossing anyone's salad. That's just a personal preference. Well, I, I do other shit. I personally feel like, and I've said this on the show again, and 10 years from now, people will play this back and say, Jason said it. People <laughs> should become more sexually fluid. I'm telling you, it is not a bad thing to venture on experience Jason, shit. they slaughtered you on my Instagram for this comment, so watch what you say. Well, I don't you, you even go to your Instagram. So you about to say what? <laughs> no, what I'm Men gonna, should okay, go out and First work. of all, all the niggas on your Instagram that had something to say were ugly. First of all, so none of y'all. We don't care if y'all sucking dick. Our community don't even want you. Take your ugly asses back over to Wilshire and Pico and, and stay over there. Uh, I went through them. Number one, if you're a dancer, if you're in the dance community, there's a 90% probability that you've had a dick in your mouth for, a, not even for an audition, because I've been to some choreographer parties where you get met at the door with a drink that's probably got a drug in it or so, right? And we know those parties. I don't need to say no name and i think that you know for me people don't they get a little threatened or a little uncomfortable because i am so honest i had a motherfucker tell me the other day there is zero percent probability that we're ever gonna fuck around we fucked around that night uh zero percent is the oh new- yeah every time a girl's told me just let you know ain't nothing happening something always happens. zero percent uh, that's a little bit different between with that story and what he just said, a guy saying there's zero percent chance they were gonna fuck around. Let me let me hit y'all with this real quick. Ready? Zero percent is the new hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> so when a motherfucker te- when a girl tell you I ain't never suck dick, I don't suck dick. She sucks dick. Wow. That's deep. So I mean, I'm just saying. I think people need to stop when when we keep when okay when we start marginal marginalizing people. Mm-hmm for exploring their sexual self, right? We mm-hmm. can explore every other part of us, mm-hmm. physical, financial, spiritual, emotional, everything. We can explore everything except mm-hmm. for sex. That's only because society just has feels a certain way, but I don't know why. Mm. I'm as free as a fucking bird. I wake up every day and do whatever the fuck I, I want I mean, do. here in the US, you know, we kind of like have like a very puritanical kind of outlook on sex. We're just, we're really, you know, like we like to do it in the deep, dark corners of our room and don't like to admit half the shit that we really actually like because we're afraid of the way it's going to make us seem. And Gio, just go suck a dick. No, listen, Gabrielle <laughs> Union Wade, I love the fact that you toss your Ben Salad and D Wade, I applaud you <laughs> for allowing her to eat your ass, bro. Now, here's my message for Gabby. Gabby, now, if you want me to tell you if you got things to worry about, you need to videotape because depending on the position, because you still ain't really explained the position you in when you get I'm your legs on my cocked back. up. No, or, I'm, on okay. my, I'm on my back. If she's giving me head, um, I slightly, br- like- I slightly bring my legs up and she just be eating my ass. But you- I'm not about to be on my hands and knees with my shit spread, <laughs> with my legs pulled back in some sternums like I'm pushing the baby. That sounds Like so I'm in gay. normal, in fucking normal getting head. Posture. So there's a guy on my Snapchat. I follow him. His name is Dick God. I've talked about him before. If you're out there, listen to the show. Pull up your Snapchat. Pause your fucking YouTube or video. Go to Dick God. Just Dick God is one word. I don't even like the fact that they're in the same he, g- he gave me his number because he wanted to network, which is cool. And he's a little homophobic, but he's steadily fucking himself with a dildo. And I just have to say, what? like... I'm not going to say he's gay because I'm all about exploring yourself. But when you got your legs cocked up, your arms wrapped around your knees, and you got a dildo going in and out your ass, oh. I'm sorry. But how like, are you homophobic when you're allowing that to happen? Like when you're like doing, he's doing it do to better. himself? He's doing it to himself. We got to do better, y'all. And I'm, I mean, log- and I'm I mean, logging on and right I, now. I ain't even talking about leg kind of up. I'm talking about leg behind his knee, uh, neck. Yo, Sna- and he is, said he's not, Snapchat? and he's homophobic? Dick God. When bro, we go you to, gay, bro. When we he go gay. To, when we go to break, okay. just watch Dick God. And he's an amazing, I mean, he plays with his dick all day long. So if you want to see somebody playing with their dick and you can't play with yours, just turn that on. But the playing in the ass with the little, and it ain't just like a dildo, like a dick dildo. It's a beaded dildo. It's all kinds of r- 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 things. And just, it's a very active situation. And it's crystal. And okay, so it's okay, crystal okay, clear. Okay, okay, bro. Wow. Okay, okay. And you know how I know? Jason, this bro. is how I'm, I'm going to be a little graphic. Because all of you out there who have men, As if we have women been. out there, if you stuck your finger in your man's ass and that motherfucker is crystal clean, he's either a vegan and has a really good diet or he cleans out his ass and gets fucked on his way home from work. But either way. <laughs> he gets an enema. Nah, oh. men don't just regularly enema do enemas. I yo, dick God, no. you gay, bro? 
Okay. He might not be gay because he's fucking a lot of girls in there too. Okay. Okay. So what's well, anyways, <laughs> um, I don't know if we should say condolences. So let's just err on the side of caution and say we wish Tamar Braxton and her husband Vince the very best. Condolences are for when people die. Well, I mean, their marriage died. Okay. She's filing for divorce. So, yeah. I mean, like, that's a really sad... Finally? Like, I thought she was trying to fight for her man. She was trying to fight for her man. Apparently, she gave up that fight because it got exhausting and she wants to focus on other stuff. Damn, you Herbert. Know? What you do, Vince? Well, there's a lot of rumors surrounding the fact that he wasn't very good when it came to handling money. You know, when they their house went into foreclosure, what? it was a surprise to her. And... You know, you can't be the talent. Like, she is the talent. Like, I that woman performing gives me, like, neck spasms watching yeah. her. Really? Yeah, I used to dance She is so She's enthusiastic amazing. when she gets on a stage. She's an entertainer, but... Her voice is but beautiful. She, but she's, Come de on now. she's definitely seen the Beyonce playbook. And I think oh, that... Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, but I think that every fan ain't for you. Every blonde wig ain't for you. Like, Beyonce is Beyonce. I feel like people should just leave her alone. Well, who's not taking a page out of Beyonce's book? And furthermore... Whose pages? Beyonce took a page Michael, out of Tina, Tina Turner's Turner, book. Uh, Michael exactly, Jackson. Michael Jackson's book. Da dancing wise, but when you get the wig, the dances, the singing, the da 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 da, no, no, it, no. She Tina Turner was a dancing motherfucker with all was. them wigs because her hair got burnt off during her time no, with I, Ike. No, I've seen the movie. Darling. All the yeah. Grace hair got burned. I don't know. I just <laughs> I like Tamar. She's a Kiki and she's an amazing personality. But leave Beyonce alone. Okay, and, but, and, but, but, but here's what I will say. Here's what I say. Here's what I say. Because I, I'm, I'm, I protect the keys to the kingdom and the queendom and the beatum. We got <laughs> the beatum. Okay, listen. The there's um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, what I do respect about Tamar, all jokes aside, mm -hmm. even though I meant everything I just said, she didn't leave him when he was fat. Right. That's yeah. a, that's another that's she, another like, you know, source of speculation that since he's you know on his slimmy gym shit, he probably getting his dick sucked somewhere. That he's feeling a little sexy, sexy wexy. And forgetting where home is. That's just speculation. Not to we mention he just lost a lawsuit. He owes a lot of money. Damn, he used to be Gaga's manager too. Like, how do you lose all that money? What are you Shit. doing? Fucking it off. Yeah. Man. But the fact that she stayed with him while he was fat and then, uh, you know, stayed with him through the whole transition and all that. Mm -hmm. and I mean, just she lost the real. Now she's losing her husband. Mm -hmm. Hopefully she just don't lose herself in it all and she stays strong. Yeah. I think she's, I you know, I, I think she's doing okay. She's about to go on tour. Um, and then I think that she wants to take a, a much needed break away from the spotlight just to kind of focus on her personal issues, which I'm sure this divorce includes. And also just raising her son um, that she has with him named Logan. So, uh, uh, Tamar, we wish you the best. I love and, you, Tamar. Yeah. God bless well, so we, this poses the question. Do you think you could work with somebody in business that you're also in a relationship with? No. I think that I think it fails more oftentimes than it is Succeeds. a success. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just way too much time that you're spending with, you know, your significant other. You know, you need yeah. breaks from each other. And it just kind of gets, you know, just a lot of gray, you know. I just don't I don't know. I couldn't do it. I want to I wanna miss you. You? I agree. That's. I think that's a lot of thing that tore me and my girl apart. We were just every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. You guys lived together. You guys yeah, didn't work was, together. She wasn't here. But, but that's what I'm she saying. Like, but we were still at hip, But what I'm saying is when you living with somebody, working with somebody, fucking somebody, it's just- it's, But were you working with her too? I was damn near her damn near manager because I would get her, make sure she gets clients for her, her job. Mm. You know, referring her because she was the best at it. Mm. You know? Well, it's a recipe for disaster, though. Well, me and my ex, we actually lived in the penthouse at the Watermark. We actually had an office in Watermark the Watermark is expensive as fuck, by yeah, the way. Yeah, well, that's why we ain't there no more. But mm -hmm. we had an <laughs> office inside the Watermark. We were partners in a business, and he ran my other business. Mm -hmm. That was a lot. Did and, you find that it worked, though? I mean, it worked until the relationship just didn't work. But the relationship did not not work anymore because of that. There's a lot. I don't think that feelings could... People could be like, okay, well, let's put aside our personal differences and, you know, break up, but let's still, you know, be business partners. That is a rarity. The, the, this is the, well, that's the that's point. That's a rarity. That is the problem because yeah. when we broke up, the first thing we feelings. had to go through, and yeah. we didn't even have hurt feelings. Yeah. I mean, it was sad that it was over, but the, the conversation started with, let's see how we like separate all our business first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. was a process. And one of our businesses ended up terminating because of that. Yeah. But anyway, okay. Well, so shout out to Tamar Vince. <clears throat> well, um, another, you know, marriage that is smashed up against the rocks <laughs> is uh, Mary J. Blige and Ken Do Isaacs. He thinks that he needs more spousal support. Um, and he basically says that her new album, Strength of a Woman, 
um, has uh, caused him pain and agony and damaged his image. I'm Get like, that bag, bro. You need to go have a seat right next to him, motherfucker. No, I'm just saying, I don't condone it, but it's just funny because he's trying to come out all these sob story allegations to get a bag. Okay, Six, first of all... He, women, women do it every day. No, 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 hold on a second. First of all, everybody knows Mary J. Blige is the quintessential artist who uses her pain and turns it into art. That is why we fell in love with her. <laughs> and don't no, act and, like and, it was a motherfucking surprise, Ken do. And that's Go why, sit down, motherfucker. And that's Sorry. why... <laughs> Fucker. And, and that's why some of us fell out of love with Mary when she fell in love because the music changed. Yeah, she was too happy, happy and we were like annoyed. And, yeah, but when she was with uh, old boy from Joe to mm -hmm. and he was on that Jojo. crack, mm. boy, we got the best music we ever heard in R&B. I was just playing that song um, last night, actually. What was it? It's, uh, if loving, I don't want to do anything. Yeah, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to do anything yeah. else. Ooh, that song, that is, song just, was ooh, is so sexy. Okay, well, listen, so apparently sexy. she said in one of her so mm. uh, performances, there's a special place in hell for you you're you gonna pay, pay for, for what, what you, you did, did to me. me yeah Ooh, we got a good album on the yeah. way yeah i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell <laughs> you because the we truth will set me free on the way yeah he's already getting thirty thousand dollars a month and he wants meanwhile, 65 and he wants 65 meanwhile he was the one cheating on her like the i'm sorry the audacity of this guy just really irritates the Damn, shit out wait of me. so how long i don't know how this works how long does he get the thirty thousand a um, month um well, it's spousal support. What is that? So alimony? I've never been married, as yeah. you can tell. Yeah. I don't so know. So they was married how many years? They were married for like nine years. Nine years. Well, I have a question. His daughter wants to come on the show. Should we bring her on the show? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll reach out to her.